Hi. Today I am going to discuss regarding chemical cleaning of supercritical boiler. This is myself J.K. Halder, HS engineer. I work as a boiler engineer also. So, how uh, chemical cleaning is done and why it is done, you need to know that lot of debris and lot of your loose particles as well as uh, scales are there in the boiler tubing to remove this we need this acid cleaning after non-renewable hydro trace you keep the superator line isolated bfd line isolated and do this acid cleaning and for this acid cleaning we have to make on temporary piping station arrangement direct mixing tank is to be put above 2 meter height and <coughs> you have to put uh, 160 uh, kilowatt uh, uh, circulation pumps or mixing pumps for this and and then your outlet of the tank to be connected to a bottom ring order from bottom ring order the mix and uh, that chemical will go to the this uh, ultimately go to the that separator from separator condensate one connection to be given to the boiler feed line that is second pass uh, and from there the separator recirculation line to be connected to the mixing tank again and then drain to the circulation pump to be connected connected to the uh, neutralizing pit which is uh, quite away in set places now uh, this chemical cleaning is done in four stages first is dm water cleaning where dm water is taken from the plant and it is cleaned thoroughly under 90 degree temperature generally for temperature hot steam is taken from the main boiler or auxiliary boiler so, then second one is alkali cleaning for this uh, disodium trisodium uh, phosphate are mixing mixed on the mm, mix, mixing tub with dm water and they thoroughly clean uh, same with 90 degree under 90 degree temperature to auxiliary steam then they also <laughs> it is also uh, disposed to the disposal area third one is chemical uh, that is uh, chemical or acid cleaning for this we need citric acid concentrated citric acid and it is put into the mixing tank in dm water and with the citric acid uh, concentration generally three to three percent around so we need to continue to add the innovator as well as ammonia and uh, it is uh, generally uh, um, to maintain on 4, P, 4 pH if the pH level is uh, increasing beyond 4 continue to add this ammonia yes, continue to add this uh, citric acid so that pH can maintain 4 so after uh, reducing temperature to 65 and pH level can be increased up to uh, 60 up to this 9.5 yeah, uh, that uh, and the later stage generally it is done for six hours and if 45 minutes sample is being tested this is second third part and fourth part is specification for precipitation we generally put the sodium nitrate solution in the mixing tank so mixing tank is having all the contents now citric acid inhibitor ammonia sodium nitrate dm water along with sodium uh, so all the uh, chemicals present inside and we are be continuously running as it is so temperature will be around 55 degree this time and you have to drain the entire solution from the circulation uh, using circulation pump and uh, opening all the drain valves and continue to drain and then use dm water range and drain again and again so that the minerals come at, at a stage of 50 microsecond per centimeter so your cleaning is over this time you have to maintain a lot of safety vector uh, for this there's a <laughs> lot of spillage may be there on the eyes as well as skin so maintain this <coughs> spill uh, so that you should be safe uh, every time okay 